What is going right today? We're back with a two and one WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Series 114 Jimmy and Jay Uso figures. We have Yeet versus No Yeet, and we did pick these up from Ringside Collectibles. If you want to grab them, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there, of course. Always greatly appreciate them. And of course, when you guys go over there and use the code, it means the world to us over here. We greatly appreciate the support. But today, we have some figures I've been waiting on for a very long time. Jimmy and Jay Uso Elite. Elite 114. They have a very good track record of their own Elite figures and their own Ultimate Editions. We're going to get into it. Do all the comparisons today, man. But I'm excited for this one. I always throw these guys in together, and I'm glad that we have another one here, man. But we do have our Yeet Jey Uso. Now, we also have one in the Top Picks Wave. I don't yet have that one, but the white shirt looks good. Nice looking figure here. Just standard packaging, you know, nothing too crazy. Got the little bio read on the back. Rest of the figures in the Wave. Got a little Jey Uso on the side action. And then over here, we do have a nice shot of Jimmy, which I am really excited for this Jimmy. I was more excited for the Jimmy over the J, which will explain why as we get into it, all the different ports and stuff, but it's your standard packaging again. Nice shot of Jimmy there, and then you do have Jimmy on the back there. It would have been cool if we got the red bloodline hat, but what do I know? But I read on the back all the good jazz there, man, but we're gonna unbox the Usos here today, find out what the hell they're all about, see if they're any good, do some comparisons and see where these Usos stand in the rest of our Uso figure collections. But today, man, it's Yeet versus no Yeet, so let's crack them the hell out of the packaging and find out what they're all about. So here we have Jimmy and Jay Uso out of the packaging, spinning around, man. And I have my, I have my thoughts, man. I think I have my collective thoughts all together here, and it should be a pretty fun review as we digress through each and everything. I think shooting them was pretty fun, and we'll get into all those things as well. But what we're gonna do is take a closer look at Jay's accessories and Jay Uso, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Jimmy's accessories and Jimmy Uso. And then of course we will compare these guys to the rest of our Usos and see where they rank and how they compare. So for Jay Uso's accessories, you get a T-shirt and some interchangeable hands. Now, we do get the Yeet shirt, which I know a lot of people are going to be excited about. It's in this white color. You got the blue and black graphic on there, and there's something about it that looks a little cheap or something, and it may just be in my brain, but I don't know. It just, I also think it should be a crop shirt. It should be cut off a little bit, but I guess it's not bad. I think it's just how square it looks in comparison. I don't know. Something's, it's probably just in my head, but that's just how I feel about it, but it does have the Velcro on the back, but it is a white shirt. It's a nice shirt. We do have a top picks version of this that's going to change the shirt to black, so if you guys want that version, can't track that down, but this looks very good. I am excited to have a Yeet shirt, you know, to add to our Jey Uso collection. And then interchangeable hands, you just get the mic holding hands, and then on the pinky, you do get the white hand tape. And then he does come with the You Can't See Me entrance style hands for the Yeet entrance there, which is pretty cool, and it still has the pinky tape on there. But these are pretty cool. You just get two pairs of interchangeable hands. So getting into Jey Uso, starting off the head sculpt, we do have a new head sculpt here that I think looks pretty good. I like it. I like how he's kind of like snarling or pissed off right here. I think it looks pretty pretty good. I think they lessened in the, you know, the salt and pepper and the beer, which I like. And I think it looks good. It's a pretty good head sculpt. I don't think we've seen this head sculpt before. I could be wrong, but I think it looks good. I think that looks nice. This is one thing that it's a significant upgrade. We went back to the Bo Dallas style torso right here. And actually, the more I look at it, pretty sure this is the same torso. I don't think they changed it in any way or anything, but the tattoos look really, really good. You have all the tattoos going across on his shoulders, his chest, everything's symmetrical across his back. Looks good. You have the yeet sleeve in there, which is nice. And then you do have the same legs here from the Elite 106 Usos, but you do have the Yeet and the tealish or Carolina blue color and white with the black looks all good there. Have the sculpted over the knee pads there, and you do have the palm tree on the side, which is very cool. And then we do have a look at the new shoe sculpt, which looks to be a sock cuff with a shoe on the bottom, which is not something that I particularly knew. And when I pulled it out of the packaging, his feet were a little bit stuck to where he couldn't really stand, but I think I have since fixed it. I hit it with a hairdryer and it is standing up now, so that is nice. But I think a lot of people are going to be wondering how this guy poses around, and I mean, he feels really good in hand. The shoulders feel good, buttery smooth, bicep cut, double jointed arm, of course. Still working on a ball hinge in the head, but he can kick forward pretty good there. It's not snapping back in place, and he can kick forward all right over here as well. It gets a little thick down here, so when you get it too high, it will run into that, but one thing that's happy to report is when you kick it forward, it doesn't snap back in place. He can also do the split, upper thigh cut. The double jointed knee does not feel super stiff either, man. It actually feels quite smooth. I don't have any issues there. And you get the ankle rotation. Ankle pivot is a bit iffy. You know, it kind of depends because now you can spin this all the way around. If you guys were unaware on these new feet, you can spin this all the way around. But um, I don't know, the ankle pivot, it just kind of depends on what you're trying to do and like the place that you put it in. And then down and up is a little tricky as well, but you can achieve that. You can achieve that, but it does get a little loose in the ankle because it tries to separate there. And then you do get the toe pivot there or the toe articulation. But I am happy to report that I'm not running into those 
same issues that we saw in the Elite 106 Usos or, you know, some of those other Elites that we've seen that snap forward and backwards. We're actually seeing, you know, a good thing here. But let's get into some Jey Uso figure comparisons here. So for your Jey Uso figure comparisons, here we have both of his Ultimate Editions with this same leg mold. And then we do have his most recent Elite with the Elite 106 and just comparing them here. So all these have the exact same leg molds, but this one has the new shoe mold. And I will report this one stands a lot better than these other ones. And this one does have better knees compared to the rest of these. The rest of these do have that tight knee. And if you take the Elite 106 right here and you try to bend this, it is a lot more stiff than if you try to bend this one over here. And you also notice that he is a little bit more difficult to stand up. And that's just the way they made those Elite 106 Usos. But I am happy to report that this seems to be an improvement. I'm not running into any of those issues. I'm happy to have the shirt and everything. This is definitely an upgrade from those Elite 106. I don't think you're going to be as frustrated posing this guy around compared to the other ones and things like that. But I like this Jey Uso a lot, man. I'm actually having quite fun with it. I don't run into those headaches that I had before posing around the Usos and stuff. And so that's good. Let's see if this one has like, okay, this one doesn't necessarily go back and forth like the other one or other figures that we've seen. But I don't know, this one just, you can just feel it in your hand, man. It's a lot more stiff than the new one. It just, and it wants to fall over too. So I definitely see a huge upgrade here with this new J. So for Jimmy Uso's accessories, we get about the same that you get with J, but you do get a few bonuses here. Now, first up, we do have the We The One shirt, something we have seen quite a few times now. We got it with Solo Sokoa. We saw it on their Ultimate Editions, the Ringside Exclusive Ultimate Edition Usos with the We The Ones. Nothing too crazy or over the top, but it is a We The One shirt with no Velcro. So you do get kind of an Ultimate Edition shirt there, if you will, which you can put on your Jimmy Uso. I know a lot of people want a No Yeet shirt, but this was before that. I don't think they could quite get that shirt out just yet, but I am sure that one is coming soon. Now, outside of that, we kind of have this new head sculpt here for Jimmy, or you get the braided hair sculpt, which I think looks really, really good. And then you can remove this hair piece and you get two separate hair pieces. So you have the braided hair and then you have the kind of messy post-match or during the match hair sculpt here. That doesn't have any red in it. It's just all jet black and you can plop this onto the head. And then there you go. Now you get a completely different look for your Jimmy Uso. I honestly prefer the braided head sculpt, but if you wanted to use this messy pushback look, you could do so. But I much prefer the braided version. I think it just looks better. I don't know. Something about it just stands out to me. This one just doesn't look quite right. Something about it doesn't look natural to me. So I would prefer the one that it comes with out of the packaging. And then he also does come with a plain black bandana. This looks to be the same sculpt we've seen in the past. I don't think it's anything new or actually it may be new. These new sculpted wrinkles in here, but it's just plain black. There's no wordage on it or any patterns. It's just a plain black bandana that you could use for many different people. You could even put it on Judgment Day, I guess, if you wanted to. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get mic holding hands with your Jimmy. And then you get the finger pointing hands or the We The One style hands for your Jimmy Uso, but no fists with either character. No, you know, they don't come with the same exact hands, so it does change up, but only two pairs of interchangeable hands. So getting into the Jimmy Uso, for some reason I don't want to say Dylan Brooks. It's just this head sculpt reminds me of J Dylan Brooks, I think, because it has the similar hairstyle and everything like that, but I do like this head sculpt. I don't hate it by any stretch. I think it does look good. I do like the new hair piece as well, and I'm happy to report he went back to the same torso, but this is what I'm saying, man. Look at their torsos. If you look at the upper part of this torso, is it not like slightly different? You see how Jay's kind of bows out and then Jimmy's bows in? Am I tripping like right there at the top of the ab crunch? Like maybe their upper pieces are the same, but maybe the lower pieces are different. I can't quite tell. Or maybe it's just some random off thing, but all of the tattoos look really, really good. You have the pec tattoo, the back tattoo up at the top. I think a black sleeve or a red sleeve would have been cool on here, but I'll take what we can get here. You know, you could easily swap it, I guess, if you had that issue. But the real thing I came for is this new leg mold. Now this crotch piece is the exact same, but we do have these new legs and and I like the sculpture of these. You have the cargo pockets right there. And it's kind of, I mean, it's joggers, but it's a different take on joggers. And you'll notice at the bottom, he has the exact same shoe mold that connects to the sock sort of sculpt at the bottom, the same as everybody else. So there's going to be holes at the bottom of these joggers. If you could do something with that customized wise, you can pop this out and there will be a hole in the joggers. But I do like this jogger mold and it looks a lot better than say the Finn Balor version or the previous versions we've seen here. But it does remind me a lot of the older Usos jogger mold, but it is slightly different. Now, I do have some slight gripes with this Jimmy in that he can kick forward nice, he can go out wide nice, but I just feel like this is a little too loose for my liking, and I wish I had some shin cut, but he is buttery smooth on the double-jointed knee, I will say that. He doesn't feel like he's going to fall apart or anything, but this does move around a little too freely, but I will say, I don't know, man, I feel like I might like it loose better than tight, you know what I mean? I, I think I'd rather have it feel like this than what it's felt like in the past, and he stands up pretty well. Again, I'm still 
trying to learn the ins and outs of this new leg or foot mold and leg mold, but I will say it's a lot better of a combo between this leg mold and this shoe mold compared to the old leg mold with the old shoe mold. So that is something there, but you'll just kind of see like that kind of tells you the legs are loose. If I can hold the legs and then bend over the entire figure like that, probably a little too loose there, but it does remind me of the older Usos in comparison. And this is what I'm talking about. The This new leg mold is very similar to this old leg mold. Very, very similar. They are slightly different. They're probably a little bit more natural, but they're definitely comparable. You know what I mean? And it's very, very similar, but I do like it more, I think. I think it gives it a more natural look in comparison to the other. But I do want to get some Jimmy Usos in here. So for your Jimmy Uso figure comparisons, here we have some different Jimmy Usos from right to left. We do have the Ultimate Edition ringside exclusive two-pack Jimmy Uso that came with Jey Uso in that Ultimate Edition set. We have the top picks, I think it was, Jimmy Uso with a head swap and some different fix-ups. And then we do have the Elite 106 over there with the different hair piece there. And in comparison, they're very similar. All four of them are similar, but they're all four different Jimmy Uso figures that we have gotten with, some, you know, more or less some different head sculpts and things like that, some fix-ups. But this essentially is what you're getting here with this Jimmy Uso. And it does have a brand new leg mold, new shoe mold that kind of creates this newness to it, which, you know, I think that this leg mold is new. It's just, it, 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 it I don't know, it kind of renders itself a little loose there, but I do want to get another comparison in here. And for this comparison, we do have the new Elite 114 Jimmy and Jay Uso up next to the Ultimate Edition Roman Reigns, the Elite 107 Solo Sokoa, and the MLW Jacob Fatu figure. And I like the way all of these look for the most part. I think all of them look good up next to each other. Obviously, the Yeet Jay Uso wouldn't be up there, but if you wanted to put this Jimmy with the rest of your bloodline, I think you could easily do that because there's no branding or anything like that. It fits right in there if you want to add some accessories or whatever the case is, man, you could do so for sure. But I think that about wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite 114 Jimmy and Jay Uso figure review. I do like aspects of the figures, of course, but there are some things about these individually that I do not like, and I don't know if they're going to be consistent across the board. But let's start off with Jey Uso. I'm very happy that they did go back to the Bo Dallas, Matt Hardy style torso. Hate the Daniel Bryan torso. Very happy that they went back to that. I think the tattoo looks great, or all the tattoos look really good. I like this new head sculpt. Love the yeet, you know, arm sleeve. I like the pants and attire. You know, I hate this jogger mold for whatever reason. I can't stand it. I will say, though, there seems to be a little bit of improvement in the bending of the knees. It doesn't seem to be as stiff as it once was. And I certainly like these shoes next to the Ultimate Edition shoes in comparison when you put that combo together like we talked about beforehand. And this is... I wasn't really aware that they went with this sock and shoe combination. I, I didn't realize that that was two different things. So these Jimmy, this Jimmy and Jay both have the exact same shoe mold and the top part of this shoe mold is a sock that connects. And I was unaware of that until today, really. I didn't ever notice that. I didn't really know what I expected, but I like it. I think it works out good. I like that it has that Ultimate Edition articulation and all those things. I wish that the Yeet shirt was cropped or that it looked a bit different. It just looks kind of cheap for whatever reason. I don't really know how to explain it. I don't I don't know what, maybe it's not cheap necessarily, but something's off about it. But I do like the Jey Uso figure. I do like it. I did have some problems with the shoes out of the packaging, but I did heat them up and put them on there and it kind of improved it. But I do like the Jey. I think it's a solid repaint. I, I love it a hell of a lot more than the Elite 106. I can say that with ease. Attire's better, formula's better, head sculpt's better. I like it, dude. It's a great Jey Uso figure. And then on the Jimmy Uso, this new leg mold, I do like. And again, they do have the same shoe mold. They, you know, they went back to his torso as well. I really like the head sculpt with the braids. I like the bandana, the We The One shirt. The only gripe I have with the Jimmy Uso is the loose legs, man. The loose legs drive me nuts. I don't know how that's a thing right here. That really, really bothers me about the loose legs. I will say, you know, would I rather, if I had, you know, God forbid, if I had to choose between it being how it is in this video versus very, very stiff where it goes back in place, you know, where you flex it and it goes right back in place like the old Rey Mysterio figures that we talked about, the new modern problem. I think I'd rather have it loose like this instead of that super tightness. So I like that and I like this jogger mold and stuff and I like that you have kind of a baggier looking jogger sweatpants look and then you have kind of a tighter, more thinner, skinnier jean style mold. So I think that's cool that you get both styles there and you can kind of play around with that. One thing's for certain is that they should use one of these leg molds on Finn Balor and not those small legs that they give him. That's something I definitely know for certain. That is what I would say about all of those things, man. But at the end of the day, I really like both figures. They're just about as good as I thought they'd be. 
I was worried coming in, you know, what the formula would hold and if it, if the legs would be too stiff or whatever. But I am happy to report that those things seem to be an issue of the past, at least not with these individually, so that's good. But I am most looking forward to the chase figures of these two with the blue. And now that I know how these pose around, I most definitely want the other versions of those guys. But this was a fun review. I'm glad to have these in hand and pose them around. It was a lot of fun. And I'm happy to have these figures finally. Been waiting to see how these were going to pose around and feel in hand once we got them. And now that they're here, I am happy to report that I think they are pretty damn solid. But at the end of the day, man, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for your support. As always, you guys are unbelievable. And a huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible, sending us these figures. If you guys want to grab something over there, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I would greatly appreciate it, of course. But these are immaculate and I think they're fantastic man pretty damn good pretty damn good they're probably going to be in the top 10 elites of the year top 20 elites of the year we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it but at the end of the day I'm a happy camper but I'm getting the hell out man I hope you guys enjoy let me know your thoughts down below I'll see you guys next time have a blessed one and I'll catch you guys later <laughs>